It's Vintage Sound 93.1 FM. This is very exciting. Joining me on the MPW Digital TV Celebrity Hotline, Jeff Downs from the band Yes. Currently on the road. They have a show Saturday night in Chicago at the Copernicus Center. Then they go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get more details online at yesworld.com. Playing the album Drama in its entirety, by the way, on this tour which was released in 1980, so that is very cool. Let's say hello to Jeff right now. Jeff, how are you doing, man? I'm good, Tony. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for the time. I appreciate it. Uh, you're playing in my hometown of Chicago this Saturday. And uh, how has the tour been uh, been treating you? Because I, I think, if I'm correct, it's not uh, it's not as intense as it may have been uh, in the years past. Like, you get a little bit more time off, right? There's a little bit more, yeah. I mean, it, it's, um, it's still quite, you know... Still quite challenging, not not just physically but mentally as well, you know. Because uh, um, certainly from my standpoint, I've got you know a, a huge piece that I know was never involved in the Tales from Topographic Ocean. So um, uh, that, that's been quite a challenge, but uh, it's been it's been really good. You know, I think that the, the band's playing really well, and um, uh, the, the fans are going home happy. So we're we're really pleased about it. At this point. Jeff, with doing shows with Yes for quite a while and playing uh, the album drama in its entirety along with some of the other songs, when when you get to a city like Chicago on Saturday and you sound check, is that it or is there a little bit of rehearsal? I mean, obviously you're comfortable and you probably know all the songs, so is it more about just making sure that all the equipment is working properly at this point? Yeah, that's, that's generally the idea, although... Um we're going to Japan in November, and we're going to be doing a slightly different set there. So we've been um, using the sound checks to, uh, to rehearse that stuff up. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you always like. I think he, 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 every member of the band likes to check that his equipment is all um, working properly, and uh, and the in ear monitoring and all that sort of thing is happening. So uh, it's always useful that there's often a little thing that needs to be adjusted. Um, you know the sound check, but yeah, it's, it's uh, we've got a great road crew. Everything seems to be running very smoothly. Isn't that nice, right? Because I, you know, I, I don't play any instruments, and I, I've been to several concerts, obviously, but it really takes a small army to go from city to city, get everything set up, and make sure that. Oh, yeah, the... yeah, I like to turn my heart to these guys, and yeah. they, you know, they, they travel overnight, and then the load in. There's ten in the morning, sometimes nine in the morning, you know, and then they. Uh, they've got the rest of the time to set the gear up, but uh, uh, you know it's it's uh, it's no mean feat, that's for sure. <laughs> it is and a big. Pack it all the way again after the show. You know? Right? Yeah, every single night, pack it in, do it again. Um, it is definitely no no short order. Um, so I wonder, Jeff, what is the what does the writer look like for you in 2016? Are you are you asking for anything differently, or has that stayed the same? I know that that doesn't really relate much musically speaking, but I always find those writers to be fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone has their own little um, their own little quirks on there, but <laughs> nothing really that um, that uh, bizarre. It's all you know, fresh food, that sort of stuff, and um, uh, you know, a few little bits and bobs and juices and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's nothing not like sort of. Um, you know, ten bottles of the finest cognac or something like that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it's uh, everything that you mentioned are things that I would also probably go with. Uh, when it comes to the current tour and doing uh, the drama album uh, in its entirety, was that an idea that uh, did everybody come to an agreement on doing that, or who who suggested that initially? Yeah, I, I think um, even when you know, even when Chris was alive, yeah, we. Um, we uh, were probably thinking of it then, you know, that, that we wanted to do it, and uh, and so I um I, I was very very uh, happy when when everyone decided they wanted to do it because obviously it was my first venture with Yes, and uh, you know it's an album that I was very proud of. I'm still very proud of it. I think I think it's a strong album, although it was quite contentious at the time because of the personnel change. Uh, Trevor Horn and myself joined the band. I think over the years, the Yes fans have grown to like the album and appreciate it as being a very significant Yes album. And it's got to be nice to be able to do an album nonstop at a show. You know, obviously people want to hear the hits or the songs that they're familiar with, but as far as some of those album cuts, 
Um, we're the kind of radio, you know, we're the kind of radio station that plays album cuts, and we have a hundred percent local. Oh, all right. Yeah. Good. So, so I think this is excellent because there's probably some songs that folks that go to the show, like on Saturday night, will hear and they'll think, "Oh my gosh, I hadn't heard that in so long," you know. Well, there's there's, there's one song particularly from the Dora album that we never even played on the original tour, which has never been played live before, which is uh, song called "Run Through the Light." So, uh, some of these songs in that you know, seeing them yeah, really opens up a whole new, uh, whole new perspective, and uh, certainly Dora album. Uh, it, it, Really nice for me to be able to be playing my own work because historically, and yes, I've generally only done a couple of tracks from the stuff that I've done before, and the rest of it is, is uh, you know, other people's music. So um, it's been, it, it, it's quite not relaxing for me, but uh, it's certainly nice to know that you can go out and play your, your play, your, play yourself, as it were. Absolutely. Uh, Jeff, before I let you go, I wonder advice that you have for uh, young people that might be taking up the keyboard or have been playing for a while. Uh, any thoughts for... Uh, I often get asked that question. I think the, the key thing is um, that, the, that you have a certain self-belief. And I think that um, I know that when I was doing various things and thinking of getting into it, and you know, people would try and dissuade you and say, you, you know, you're wasting your time doing that or whatever. My mother used to say to me, you know, when are you going to get a proper job, you know? Because um, <laughs> it's not really considered to be a proper job being a musician. Um, but I, I think it, it is down to that self-belief and uh, not being dissuaded or swayed by other people's opinions. And, and I think that's what would give uh, someone a, a uniqueness and, a, and a, an individuality in the music. My dad said the same thing to me when I first started in radio. He's like, you know, you could do uh, radio and you could still be like a firefighter. And I was like, or I could, ju- <laughs> or I could just do radio because when I see, that, uh, you know, he takes you seriously when you <laughs> say you want to be, uh, you know, in media or, 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 you know, on the TV or, you know, I mean that's the thing is now, of course, uh, you know, with all these reality shows, everybody wants to be on TV. You know, but, um, oh, and that is a bit strange. But there you go. It's so wild. Listen, Saturday night, Copernicus Center in Chicago. Yes, live in concert. Jeff Downs, thank you for the time. Happy uh, early birthday in advance, and I hope to chat with you again soon, man. Thanks, Tony. Nice to talk to you. Cheers, buddy. Take care. Bye.